Hello everybody, it's Nick here with Nick Tolman Music, and today we're going to go ahead and learn how to play Mood by 24K Golden, featuring Ian Dior. Let's get started. Alright, so welcome to episode 4 of Top 40 Riffs. Like I said earlier, today we're going to go ahead and be looking at this song Mood, which has been on the charts for quite some time now, but features a cool little guitar riff, and we're going to break it down today and teach you how to play it. Alright, so before I play it for you, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick rundown of the gear that I'm using today uh, for the tone that you're hearing on this video. So I'm playing into my uh, Made in Mexico Fender Strat with noiseless pickups. And it is going into the Dyna compressor by Joyo. It's a super cheap compressor, but a really good uh, bang for your buck. Uh, into the MXR Carbon Copy Deluxe for a little bit of delay. Then into the Hall of Fame Reverb by TC Electronics. And then into my Sansamp Para Driver DI, which uh, is just a really great little DI that I use whenever I'm going direct, either for recording purposes or playing direct even in live settings, a uh, really great little pedal. Uh, it, straight into my Focusrite uh, 2i4. And then recording straight into Logic. All right, so that's my gear rundown. Let's go ahead and teach you how to play this song. All right, so this song is in the key of G minor, and it goes like this. So starting off, there's really not too much to this lick. There's a couple different shapes that you're going to need to get under control. And other than that, the biggest thing that you're going to need to work on is this technique that's used throughout, which is, uh, we'll talk about it right here. So the very first shape that you're going to do is going to be your first finger on the sixth fret of the fifth string and your fourth finger on the eighth fret of the second string. Now you can see that there's two strings in between that, and that's kind of the technique that you have to kind of uh, master for this song. And that is, you want these two notes to sound the sixth fret of the fifth string and the eighth fret of the second string, but you don't want the two strings in the middle to sound. So you're not making a bar because you don't want this, right? And you don't want them to ring open because that just sounds crazy, all right? So, but what you want is your first finger is placed playing the note on the sixth fret of the fifth string, but it's also just kind of laying down and muting the, those two middle strings, very softly muting them. So when I strum, the only two notes I'm getting are these, right? So you might want to spend some time just working on that technique and kind of getting the feel for that. It's not challenging. It's not a bar chord. It doesn't take a lot of strength or anything like that. It's just a matter of getting used to the way that that feels. Okay. So that's going to be used throughout and we'll kind of go from here. So again, this is our first shape. First finger on the sixth fret of the fifth string and fourth finger on the eighth fret of the second string. Okay. So what's going to happen here, the first three, I guess the first three notes, the first three hits here are going to be. All right, so all that's happening there is those first two strums are strumming as is. Then your fourth finger is going to come off and your second finger is going to go ahead and go down on the sixth fret of the second string. Okay, so we get that. All right, that's the first move. All right, now from here, the next thing that's gonna happen is your fingers are gonna just slide up. Okay, they're gonna maintain almost the same shape. You're gonna keep the first and second finger, you're gonna slide right on up to where your first finger is on the 10th fret of the fifth string, and your second finger is on the 11th fret 
of the second string. And that's gonna get two, two strums there. Still using that same technique to make sure that those two middle strings are muted. All right, so all together that looks like this, slowly. Now, the trick to that one is just making sure that that slide is nice and quick, all right? But you do wanna hear that a little bit. You can hear it in the recording, that, that slide up to that note. All right, now from there, okay, so our fingers are here on the first finger on the 10th fret of the fifth string and second finger on the 11th fret of the second string. We're gonna go ahead and kind of shift here. Our first finger is gonna to go to the eighth fret of the fourth string, and our third finger is gonna to go to the 10th fret of the first string. Okay, now this next move is kind of the trickiest one to get to do it, at least how I'm hearing it on the recording, although there is a way that you can kind of cheat it if you want to uh, keep it simpler, all right? So what's happening here is it's gonna go like this. Okay, that's the next move. So again, you're gonna strum once with our first finger on the eighth fret of the fourth string and our third finger on the 10th fret of the first string. Just once. Then you're gonna take that third finger off. Second finger is gonna come down on the sixth, or sorry, the eighth fret of the first string. That's gonna get one strum. And then you're gonna do just a real quick slide where you just, you want that right there. Your second finger sliding from the eighth fret to the 10th fret. So I'm still strumming everything. It's just a real quick slide. So together it kind of comes like this. Now, if you're having a hard time getting that to sound just the way you want it to, you could just come back and place your third finger back down on the 10th fret and do something like this. Right? But I really like the sound of that slide and you can definitely hear that in the original recording. All right? And then there's one more shape. All that's gonna happen is that sh same shape that you have right now is basically just gonna move down uh, a string. So now your first finger is on the eighth fret of the fifth string, and your third finger is on the 10th fret of the second string. And that's the final shape, okay? So uh, let me just do that last couple moves for you one more time so you can see that nice and slow. So again, here for these last two moves, we have our first finger on the eighth fret of the fourth string, third finger on the 10th fret of the first string, and here we go. All right, that's the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing nice and slow. Up to speed, here we go. That's all there is to it. If you want the tabs, they're in the description below. Go ahead and check out that link. If you're new to Nick Tolman Music, make sure you check out our monthly giveaways that are happening every month here on this channel. There's also a link in the description below to enter those giveaways, and we will see you next time.